Hello and good day. I'm Dr. Kavi here, the Chief Editor for Journal of Academia. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an account and you can submit your paper for the Vsauce 2021 through our submission system. Okay, so you can simply go to uh, Google and then you can type JOA Mohe. So when you type like this, it will it will show you the first link. Just click this link. Okay, so it will bring you to this uh, website. So this is our website as well for the General of Academia. And some of the information that you can find over here, the latest issue, you can find it over here. Okay, if you want to view our aim and scope, whether your paper fit for this um, General of Academia or not, you may refer here. But from that, there are also author guidelines. Okay, you may refer to this author guideline and the paper, ta paper template, sorry. Uh, okay, so here this information is about our indexing system. Okay, and if let's say you wanted to have our paper template, you can just click this link and download it. Okay, so let's begin the process. If let's say you are new to the Journal of Academia submission, then you have to click the register button. So you have to fill in the simple form over here, your first name, last name, your affiliation, your university, the country, and also your email address. And then you need to come up with your own username. Then you have to set the passwords. Then if you are willing to be, uh, become the reviewer for the General of Academia, you can click this yes button over here. And then please mention your reviewing interest. So when you are, when you are key in your reviewing interest, so kindly give some keywords. For example, conducting polymers. Okay. Let's click enter. Okay. And then this products. Yeah, if you think you are done with the skip keywords, just click enter. So it will be captured in the system. And then you have to verify that you are not a robot and then click register. So you will be getting an email to verify your user profile. Okay, so that is if let's say you don't have an account with General of Academia, but if let's say you already have an account, then you just straight away go to the login, key in your username, password, then click login. So once you click login, uh, you can click this button over here. So probably if you're a user, I mean, if you're an author, you won't see this much of buttons here. You might see tasks and submissions only. So it doesn't matter. You just click this new submission. Okay, so basically this is a five-step submission process very easy you need to acknowledge the copyright statement then you need to select <coughs> the right section so since these papers are going to be accumulated from Vsauce 2021 kindly select this one this section over here so this step is quite important for us so that easier for us to uh, detect your paper as soon as possible and then we can process the paper if you select any other sections over here this is for regular submission not through the Vsauce conference so it might delay the process so kindly select Vsauce 2021 then there are some uh, submission requirements you have to agree to all just click check them then here comments for the editor all right so at this box here I would like to request the authors to provide some details why details of potential reviewers what i would like to request is uh, name, affiliation and email address okay. uh, you may provide uh, details of the potential reviewers and Please uh, make sure that these reviewers are not from the same affiliation from the authors of the paper. Okay, uh, this is important for us to make sure to avoid this uh, conflict of interest. Okay, then you have to save and continue. Click save and continue. You are done with the first step. Okay, the next step is to upload the article all right so here you select article text 
okay and then you can just drop and drag it over here for example this is my paper let me show you um, okay so first of all you need to do it in the right format according to journal of academia okay so this paper in this way just drag and drop it here okay then click continue so here you need you can edit the name of the file so you can just probably through the uh, registration with Vsauce you already got an uh, ID maybe you can use that ID for example like cam 002 for example then click continue then complete okay so you are done with this second step then click next, save and continue okay so this is one of the crucial part which gives us all the metadata that needed for the journal uh, the title what you have to do is you just need to copy this and abstract the same Okay, add contributors. For example, in my paper here, you can see there are several authors, right? So each of each one of them, you have to key in their name. Okay, for example, add contributor. Okay, you have to key in, for example, CP or uh, uh, Okay, the first name and the last name. Then email address. Okay, let's say I select this email address. Then country. And uh, go to the affiliation, and you can put the author's affiliation. Um, yep. And then you have to select author. And if, let's say, this author is the principal author, that means the corresponding author of the paper, then you have to click this. You have to check this box. And this happens if, let's say, the student is uh, submitting the paper to the journal. If, let's say, the corresponding author, he or himself, is submitting, then probably it will be auto tick ready over here okay so i just cancel this tab okay but uh, when you are adding authors you have to list down all the authors for say for example you have like 10 authors then you have to list down all 10 authors over here then in the paper you must have used some keywords for example conducting polymers guest census you have to type this over here one by one conducting polymers polymer then once you type you just click the enter Okay, guess sensor, enter, body, attribution, penny, okay, something like that. And supporting agencies is basically for the um, funders. If let's say you got this, uh, you have done this research with the help of some funding, like FRGS or any internal grants or like LRGS or any other funding, you, uh, you can declare over here supporting agencies. For the references, just scroll down your paper. Uh, okay, so you can see here I've numbered as one, two, three. So actually, this is not for General of Academia. So for General of Academia, we're using APA format. So kindly use that format to provide the references. So you can just copy and paste the references, then click save and continue. Okay, so with that uh, done with the third step. Now for the fourth step, you just need to make sure you read. Then you click finish submission, OK, then done. Okay, it's not even five steps actually, it's like just four steps here. Okay, so once you're submitted, you can uh, you can go to the dashboard and then you may find your paper over there. And also after you've submitted the paper, you will be getting an acknowledgement email from the system, from the General of Academia system, it's automated one. And then uh, we will begin the process. Normally, we will do the plagiarism check. We will check for the content, whether it fits with the aim and scope of the journal or not. Uh, and then only I will pass it to the editor. So editor will do the, the similar the similar checking. <clears throat> okay, so this is editorial review. We call this as editorial review. Once it passed the editorial review, then the paper will be sent for the next stage, which is the peer review. So peer review, normally we will assign 
like two to three reviewers some papers i have assigned like, up to 10 reviewers because sometimes you know reviewers uh, it, it will be difficult for us to get uh, secure some reviewers so you just need to wait and then once we got enough reviewers report uh minimum must be two reviewer report okay then we will notify you and then we will give you some deadlines by when you have to submit your revised file okay so wish all of you all the best and thanks for watching